Before I can tell you what happiness is, we first need to define what it is. Because most people think happiness is like joy, laughing, smiling, and running around all the time. That's not happiness. That's just a small aspect of what happiness is. It's part of it, but it's not the whole. And the problem with defining happiness is there's no physical thing to measure. Unlike height or weight, we can see how much weight a person has or how tall they are. But we can't do that with happiness. It's like freedom. How free am I? How free are you? How free is our country? You can't pick up the freedom and then show it to me. It's a construct. And it's the same thing with happiness. But what Martin Seligman, the father of positive psychology, suggests is that we use well-being. Well-being we can measure, and if we measure that, we can get a pretty good understanding of how happy a person is. And well-being has five different elements. We can use the acronym PERMA. First one is positive emotion, and that is things like joy, warmth, comfort, and pleasure. That is part of happiness. The second one is engagement, which refers to flow. It's just finding that thing you love doing. Whether it's playing video games or working on a creative project, it's finding that and immersing yourself in it and just losing a sense of time. Positive relationships refers to the relationships that we make with people, the connections we build, with people we want to spend time with. M is for meaning. Meaning is just contributing to something bigger than yourself. And there are so many ways we can do that in our society, whether it's through religion, through politics, or just some kind of project or organization. But you just feel like you're contributing to something bigger than yourself. The final one is accomplishment, which is just succeeding, completing, finishing. It's just that sense of achievement when we complete something we're trying to do. So all these things contribute to well-being and we use that to measure happiness. So if you hit on all five of these things, you can increase your happiness. Now what are some things you can actually do right now to increase your happiness? The first one is an exercise called the three blessings. And all you need to do is before you go to bed tonight, just take 10 minutes to do this. Write down three things that went well today. And next to each item, write down why it went well. And they can be big things or small things, really whatever you want. So for me, today I had a really good conversation with my housemate. Why did this happen? Well, I felt like I was listening really well. That's it. Why do we do these exercises? Because it trains our brain to take in more positive rather than focusing on the negative all the time. And in psychology, they have done rigorous scientific testing and they have shown that for a fact, this exercise will increase your amount of happiness and decrease your depression. So definitely check out the exercise. The next thing you can do is the kindness exercise. And this is all you need to do. Tomorrow, when you're going out about your day, just do something kind for someone else. Don't think too much about it. Just find something small that you can do and just do that kind deed. Because one of the best and most effective ways that we can increase our own happiness is by doing things for other people, by doing kindness for others, by helping other people. That is truly the way you increase your own happiness. The final thing you can do is figure out what your signature strength is. And then once you do find that, use it as much as you can. So Seligman has this awesome theory, and it's just that we are all born with these innate strengths and talents. And if you can figure out what yours is and use it as much as you can, you will feel happier and you will have a more fulfilled life. So how can you figure out what your strength is? I'll put a link down below and you can take a look at the website where there's a questionnaire that you can fill out. Find out what it is and start using it as much as you can. I hope these things help you out. I hope you really do feel like you can have some control over your happiness. And above all, you have to work at these things. Happiness is not just something that happens in the moment. It comes from doing things, small things on a daily basis that build up over time and contribute to your happiness. This is James from Mind Unlimited. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.